Oh hi, this is a video for Simon and Joanne. It's Gareth here from JBT Marine and Ballistic Ribs. Uh, just thought I would shoot this video after speaking to you Joanne this morning um, regarding uh, both the uh, 7.8 Ballistic Rib and the uh, 6.5. And um, this is the boat that I said there could be, uh, there's a there's a bit of an opportunity on because this is a demo boat. Uh, she was fitted with the um, in here, should I say, uh, the Yamaha uh, F300 engine, um, which is the biggest power plant currently we can fit on this one, um, but uh, it's been borrowed to fit onto a dive boat that had about 25 hours on it. Um, speaking to uh, the guys in the office, there is an opportunity to supply this hull because it's all rigged ready to go. It does have all the good bits on it, so it has got the uh, Yamaha screen, which I'll show you has got the drive by wire control um, and it does have the option to go either for a 250 or a 300 so we could get a bit of a saving on the actual overall initial retail price on this boat because we could actually bring the engine size down wouldn't make much difference because it is the same block and pistons um, but she'll probably just top out around about 45 knots 46 knots um, maybe other than the 40 uh, so we need the 52 that the uh, 300 would do now the boat itself is the latest incarnation so she does have the teak floor she does have the latest uh, more simplified dash so we have combined depth and nav on this touchscreen Garmin nav do have the Garmin VHF fusion music system which actually displays all of its uh, data out onto the screen on this one which you can compartmentalize so you can get all the data you want on it as it does have the drive by wire control so there is a very seamless easy way of engaging gears and throttle um, it's a much easier and nicer way of driving than the old cable controls she has also got a uh, standard bow area sun pad infill cushion there's a table leg hole just underneath this area here the table leg uh, the table fitting in this compartment here so should you want to pick it just a moment i'm doing this section and then going in there to see the, the table and all of its bits and bobs. Um, like all the sea view boats, uh, she has been fitted with the dual batteries, dual bilge pump system um, and a, a, switch, a selectable switch here, which allows the bilge pumps to run automatically if you didn't want to leave her on the water for a time and obviously just worry about her so she can take care of herself. Boats or self-draining deck, so I say it's a draining deck at the back uh, for when she's planing, uh, sealed hull anyway, so there's no real way that the water in the weather can fill up with water because it's sealed at the rear. Um, so it, it's, it's a very hard boat to sort of scupper or compromise, so I say, no problem at all. She does have a towing eye, she does have the rod holders here for fishing down here, these ones, high cleats for tube protection. So it does have everything with it. I was just thinking after the phone call, um, there is options whether we supply it with or without a trailer and whether we could package something together for a period of storage in our dry stack facility, which I'll just show you in a sec, uh, which may benefit you um, from a storage cost point of view. So if you don't need the trailer, if it's just gonna go in the water out to sea view and you enjoy it, then don't include the trailer in what you'd need to be quoted for because I say it's, three, it's 4,000 pounds that you just don't need to spend. And if there is a period of storage that we could probably help with out, then, then let us know and I'll try and package it up to make the cost um, as, much, as, as attractive as I can for you. Let me just uh, pause the uh, video here so I can just run you through the storage. Yeah, here we are in our dry stack. Um, this is one of our three forklifts and you can see here the racking system in which all the boats are kept. Um, in fact, there's a a number of boats up here in fact that one up there just behind the forklift there is a 7.8 ballistic and that's stored here throughout the season so what you could do as i say is you could winterize the boat and store it in here um, if you do run it on a contract with a with the dry stack there's a system of an hour's guaranteed launch on the standard policy so you can ring up from home and by the time you get here the boat will be in the water and then you just get back in your car uh, when you've got to the end of the day they'll lift it wash it and put it back um, it's all done very quickly very efficiently and uh, the whole uh, unit here is sealed at either end with a door at night so they're protected from any wind dust or sort of uh, flying debris which to say there's obviously a lot of dust around in any sort of sea type environment but yes 
I say I think it's just working out exactly what would be the best for you so definitely let us know I will just cut this video here because it's slightly too long and I'll follow up uh, with an email to, uh, to, to ask if there's any questions that I can help you with